Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, configuring uh, IPsec uh, tunnel between Cisco IOS router and a FortiGate VM. Um, before we jump into the VPN configuration, I have to talk about a couple of points. The first point is that uh, this video will be a little bit different. The reason is that I would like to set up the lab before uh, going to the configuration of the VPN and to show you how you can set up your lab and prepare your lab uh, because many people many uh, guys and many students ask me that uh, how we can prepare the lab those who are not really familiar with the uh, 40 gate configuration in GNS3 environment uh, the other point is that this is going to be a classic crypto map native IPsec configuration. We are not talking about uh, modern technologies like VTI uh, or let's say Ike version 2. It's just Ike version 1 uh, crypto map configuration that you usually even do on from Cisco ASA to Cisco IOS. Okay, so let's prepare our lab here. Um, I have on the firewall uh, security devices in my GNS3. First of all, I'm using GNS3 2.12 and I have both appliances installed. Um, if you have question uh, about how we can install ASA, Cisco ASA V or 48 VM into GNS3 based on the GNS appliances, uh, you can go to the GNS documentation or um, I'm going to make a video later about that as well. For now, uh, it's already installed, so I will just insert once Cisco. No, sorry, not ASA V. I will insert the 48 VM, and on the routers I will uh, insert one iOS V and another one here. Okay, so the middle one I will name it as Internet. In Internet. It's going to be our transport network. It's going to simulate that. So I will just change the symbol to a cloud. Right. And um, here I will connect it to port 1 on FortiGate. And I will insert another Ethernet switch. And one cloud and the reason for that is that I want to simulate and I will show you how uh, host my laptop will be simulated for this cloud and I will make a loop back in order to access the GUI of the FortiGate through this cloud from my own laptop browser and uh, you will see how it works it's pretty cool actually so port 2 to Ethernet 1 and from here I will go to configure so as you can see Ethernet 8 here that's my target Ethernet and I will show you what Ethernet 8 is we'll connect it here so if I go to my change adapter options here I have couple of NICs here, network interface cards. And as you can see, I have a couple of VMware, virtual NICs and Wi-Fi. But the point is, I have one Ethernet 8, which is a Microsoft KM loopback adapter that you can make it easily on, on Windows 10. And uh, this is a loopback interface that you can assign an IP address to it that I have already assigned an IP. As you can see, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, the slash 24 and the gateway is 10 10 10 to 200 which will be assigned to the 48 so why I did that because if I go to my CMD and I do IP config I will see the details of all the network interfaces and there you go here Ethernet adapter 8 I have this uh, Ethernet adapter up and running this loopback IP address 
with the static IP that I just assigned it. So what I have to do, just make it a little bit nicer here. I just change the name of the cloud to, let's say, me. This is simulating me. And also change the symbol to probably a computer. Okay. Um, let's spin up the FortiGate first. Start. And I go to console. This is a FortiGate VM, as you can see, 5.6 uh, appliance, which I have inserted. And you have to get the image of the VM. It's of the 40 OS itself from FortiGate. You can get the you can download and register and download the trial version. So this is my forty gate. Get it. Before we do everything, I just want to make sure that the license is okay and it's trial trial, and I can have minimum uh, firewall functioning. So I do get system status and as you can see evaluation license expires saturday june 16. so today is first of june so it starts from today for 16 days and license status valid that's a very good point okay so um we just assign uh here i'm gonna put my ip addresses in the write it here to make it easier to read 10 10 10 dot 200 slash 24 this is the ip address of my gateway which is uh, port 2 and the 40 gate right and this is ethernet 8 right i will have 10 10 10 dot 10 slash 24 as the loopback which represents my laptop here okay so let's configure this port 2, this IP address on port 2 FortiGate that we can ping it and we can start the GUI on FortiGate. Okay. Just a second. So config system interface edit port 2. And I can do I set IP set IP 10 10 10 10 uh, 200 slash 24 set access set allo access HTTPS HTTP SSH telnet and ping and that's enough so if I do show system interface question mark as you can see port 2 is configured with the right IP address the status is up and even if I do show system interface I can see the type as physical allow access so it should be good to go now on my own laptop I will ping the forty gate uh, hopefully it works yes it works so I can ping the forty gate from my laptop and if I go from a browser, HTTP 10, 10, 10 dot 12. Yeah, this is the GUI of the FortiGate. Admin is the default password, the default username and the password is nothing default. So as you can see from my laptop, this is very cool actually from my old laptop i can connect to my gns3 environment and to the FortiGate gui and it's pretty pretty amazing uh, to have this feature and uh, this is a FortiGate v 5.6 which is a quite new build and there are a lot of uh, features available here you have sdvan we are not going to talk about them we are just going to set up a a simple a VPN in next video so for now I will go to interfaces and as you can see port 2 is already configured I will go to before that I will go to port 2 edit and I will name it as LAN LAN ok 
Okay. And port one. Okay. Before I configure port one, let's um, uh, spin up this router. That while we are working on the forty gate, these two routers come up, and we can configure them. So let's assign a kind of a public IP address to this point-to-point -point interface. Let's say one hundred, one hundred, one hundred zero slash twenty-four, right? And on the routers, the Cisco router side, which simulates for us the Internet Cloud. We will put one and on the 40 gate we will put two and also here you can put uh, let's say 80 80 80 it's simulating the public IP address on your internet right 0 slash 24 and again this will be this interface gigabit 00, zero will be one and gigabit zero zero on your router will be two. Okay, let's say let's see if this router is, is already yeah it's already boot up, so we will come to it later. Let's boot up this one. Start and console. It's gonna boot up. Uh, while it's boot booting up, I will name this as router one. And also we will assign a loopback interface here to simulate a LAN loopback 1 which will be let's say 192.168.00.24 or slash 1 this is going to simulate our LAN okay right now uh, we go back to 40 gate GUI and we go to port uh, port one edit. The alias will be van, and IP address will be 100, 100, 102, right? Yes, slash 24, 250, 250, 250, zero. We are low ping HTTP SSH. That's cool. Okay. And we okay. We have two interfaces up and running on forty gate. Now let's jump into this interface, this router, the cloud internet router, which is simulating the internet cloud for us. So very quickly, conf t host name internet interface geek zero one IP address. 100, 100, 101, 255, 255, 0, no shot, no shot. And we should be able to ping the 40 gate. And yes, the ping is successful. That's very good. Let's configure the other side, the point to point uh, link between the internet cloud and the iOS Cisco iOS router router one. We go to conf t interface geek zero zero IP address eighty 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 one two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty zero and no shot and we jump into router one um, very quick. Okay, conf t hostname router one interface loopback one IP address one hundred seven one hundred ninety two one hundred sixty eight zero one two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty five two hundred four zero exit as you can see interface went as just as immediately after you create the interface loop loopback interface it uh, immediately comes up you don't have to do no shot we go to interface gig zero zero ip address mm. eighty 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 one two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty five two hundred 
80, 80, 80, 2, 255, 255, 0, and no shot. So we should be able to ping the other side. Let's see if it works. Yes, so we are pinging the other side of the internet. Okay, now we have to add one default route here. Uh, IP route zero zero. We are just simulating. So guys, uh, please pay attention to this. So we are simulating the internet connectivity from this point, from this point, right? I just want to show you from this point. This point is internet, right? So when you have your edge router in your production environment, and then you want to establish a VPN tunnel, usually you have the edge router and you have a default route to internet. So we are going to do the same here. Router one, IP route zero, zero, zero. Next hop, 80, 80, 80. One. Okay, show IP interface. Brief, let's just have a quick check. Looks all right, show IP route. You have the default route, perfect. We have to add this default route to our 40 gate as well. So we come back here. We will go to static routes, create route. This is the default already. The device will be van. Gateway will be nine, no, 100, 100, 100 one yes administrative distance is by default 10 we will leave it as 10 and the status enable so the default route is added now I should be able to ping from my router one I'm gonna ping from router one the IP address of van interface on the 40 gate and I should be able to ping it that means that my internet cloud router will transfer the will transport the packets uh, just like an internet cloud but the only difference in reality is that you have thousands of routers or hundreds of routers in between but here you have only one router which is simulating the whole TCP IP stack so let's do that ping uh, 100 100 100 one first i'm going to ping this interface gigabit zero one on internet cloud and it's successful that's good news and also the 40 gate and i can also ping the 40 gate that's perfect let's say 10. okay so so far we quickly set up our lab we have configured the 40 gate as an edge device as default route towards internet and a lan which my laptop is connected to via a loopback interface, Ethernet 8. And also on the left side, I have a Cisco router iOS, which is also acting like uh, similar to an edge router with a default route towards internet and one loopback interface uh, simulating the LAN. In next video, we are going to start the actual configuration of the VPN. I hope it was informative and thank you for watching.